channel. Of course, I am Jessica, and um, this is going to be a quick video. Well, not really quick, but it's just going to be a video about returning your teenage girls back to school. Um, I have an 11th grader. She starts school here pretty soon, and she has classes like creative writing and physics and um, she does have um, PE this semester so I always think about um, when you see these types of videos of what's in the backpack and things like that it's always really geared towards smaller kids um, what's in your elementary schoolers but I think it is even more important for your high schoolers because they come across so many challenges throughout the day um, if it's not like a clothes changing situation or for girls a menstrual situation like there's always something that arises um, that I think because um, they're, they're in different classes and then like for Sydney school they do a day and B day so a day is consistent of one set of classes and then B day is consistent of another so their backpack is constantly changing because you don't want to lug your A day stuff on B day you know if they broke it up so you don't have that much stuff and in her school they have lockers but they don't assign them after COVID apparently they had issues they don't have a locker for every kid so it's just I mean for her I just like her backpack to have everything that she needs now I don't have her lunchbox in here but she'll be using the same lunchbox from last year um, a lot of this stuff would be from last year but we're gonna switch it up a little bit and when I say switch it up I'm gonna show you so last year she carried these five star notebooks and she had an A day one and a B day one and she this thing was so packed full of stuff and it was so heavy and she had actually she had three of them um, and I was like what what do you think will make it better where you're not collecting so much paper and holding on to it only keeping it for the classes that you need and then she had a composition notebook for every single class so math science English Spanish everything had a composition notebook and half of the book is empty because you only take so many notes so we decided this year that we would go with the five star three subject wide ruler and this way um, because it's three subjects you have the divider here that's a folder um, I knew that this folder probably wouldn't be sufficient for all of the work that she would get so I purchased these it's a three pocket notebook and um, I am going to put this and it's designed for a spiral notebook. So I am just going to spiral these in there and in there, in there, get in there, get in there, yeah, yeah, get in there. Okay, and so there we have it. And so this gives you will give her a little more space to put all of her, um, let me fold it like this, there we go. This will give her like pockets to put the work or worksheets or handouts or whatever um, study guides they get inside of here. And I'm gonna put three in total and she'll have three folders in here so now she has this much paper for every class instead of a because how many paper pages it is 170 so yeah she'll have um notes in three of her a classes and then we have one for her b classes and these three pocket dividers I got six of them, so we'll put, because three came in here, so we'll have three for A day and three for B day. So hopefully that will help out with the organization on A and B day. So she's only taking one of these instead of two every day. Now she does have creative writing and she saw this book she just thought it was really pretty so and her um, headphones 
I got this little magnet from Target. It is a magnet cord, a magnet cord band, and that's what they look like. And so when she's in class, these are the headphones that she uses for her laptop. So yes, there. So all of the things that she needs for her laptop and her calculator. These are the extra ear tips are in this little bag which lives in the front mesh part of her backpack and this is her charger for her macbook and of course it has her name on it and then her cords have the tips so that the cord doesn't get bent um, and frayed at the end and these little things i got from amazon work really really well which this is sydney's issue laptop they give it to them and she'll keep it um until she graduates unless something happens to it um, so she had it last year she'll use it this year they are um, mac book airs and inside of her macbook um, let's do it like this okay we have these calming strips so you just trace your finger around this while you're in class so she has three of them that is what keeps her focused and keeps her from doodling because Sydney is a drawer. She'll draw and doodle and, and, and I was like, okay, I love the fact that you love that, but I feel like you need something that is less distracting. So we ordered them. I seen it on, actually it was a YouTube, um, not YouTube, it was a Instagram, a Instagram, like, commercial advertisement and this is what they are they're called calm strips and you get a bunch of them this one is the one that I like so you just kind of draw your finger and they're all textured different this one says breathe this one says inhale hold exhale and they just sit on you can put them on your notebooks when your notebook is closed you just kind of you know just run your hand over it so that your hands if you have like that fiddly um desire that will help a lot with that so i thought that was really 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 cool so her macbook air goes in here we didn't buy a new one of these we're gonna hold on to this one because it works just fine so we have that in addition to having a daughter that is almost an adult she has a pack for her menstrual items and in here I put not once again her name is in there I didn't put just like pads and stuff she has um, hand wipes and she also has pH wipes and she has poopery and then she has her you know feminine products in here so if she has to go to the bathroom she has a way to keep everything clean and then wipe her hands down so of course every um, high school kid girl female needs something like this in addition to that it'll be in her backpack she'll have hand lotion she will have a new hand sanitizer and she will have honest wipes for her hands so if she needs to wipe her hands off all of these things will be inside of maybe something like this. Just a little um, smiley fa face pouch we got last year. Um, and then in here we'll usually put a perfume and a lip gloss inside of here. So she'll have those things. So these are kind of like her personal. And then if she gets up to go to the bathroom, if you're holding this in your hand, nobody really knows what it is. It looks like your wallet. It could be anything. So. I got this I can't even remember when I got this but I thought it was kind of just cute and fun it she's kind of outgrown the pattern but it does the job so we have that so this is her personal feminine products hand lotion and, and sanitizer that'll go in her backpack and those are the things she'll take on a daily basis um, pencil case this is a Dagny Dover um, like pouch it's more like a wallet it has separation but we use it as a pencil case so inside of her pencil case of course you're going to find pencils 
like this. But what I have I saw on the internet was um, people because this these pencils are already sharpened, and so I put them in a toothbrush holder so that the marks from the pencils don't mess up the inside of this because after she's done with this for school she could put this in her purse um, if you can see the inside it has places for cards and everything so this super this is super handy even after she graduates it's not just like your typical pencil case it has a um, D re a hook for like inside of bags so these are her pencils and I didn't want it to mess up the thing so you slide this guy down in here now this is a little bit longer so you have to turn it this way and then zip it up like that but the rest of her um, things are will fit in here so these are her refill these lead pin pieces because Sydney is a um, what are these called mechanical pencil junkie so we got mechanical pencils and then the refills and she'll open this up take a few put it inside of here like I said her pencils we got the number two sharpened one so if she has to take a test and they're not you know she's not wanting to use these we she has a traditional pencil because you just never know how teachers are going to be oh one more thing I forgot to mention um, that goes in this little bag is her peel um, pouch so in here she has Motrin, Tylenol and Midol right in this little guy and this goes with her to school every day as well because I don't I don't know if she is on the list for medication at school you have to fill out a particular thing to see if the counselor can give the medication so I just sent her with this and I used that last year as well it's a part of the last year um, this this she's used for years now she had this in middle school so this has seen a quite a few years in school this bag I got last year she's used it this peel case I got last year so a lot of this stuff is just recycled this is her recycled pencil case from last year inside of her pencil case you will also find um, erasers I got her a big thing of erasers this year I think last year we didn't have as many erasers and she was struggling um, these were the pencils um, and white outs from last year that she didn't use so she still has white out and then she still has the erasers that go into the mechanical pencils and this was just a pencil case that she had from like middle school and I keep like the extra stuff that's not going to school in here so we'll take like the extra pencils and pens and put them down in there and put it off to the side so she'll know where to go to find what she's looking for um, also a phone charger I bought her this years ago and because it does not have a particular charging like she can use it on an iPhone whatever as long as you have this USB cable so this USB cable has a charger for her watch um, a USB-C for her phone the old um, iPhone charger and the old USB cable so she can plug this into here and charge whatever device as you can see it's lit up whatever device she doesn't have charged um, and of course I put the bungee cord on there because I wonder what this little button is for it's a power I thought it was a power button anyway okay so yeah this is her charging and these are all the cords. So no matter what phone she has, if her friend needs to charge, she needs to text her mom for something. You just never know. She forgets to charge her watch. She has this. When she comes home, she can just throw this on the charger. I think this is supposed to turn off. Let me see. She can throw this guy on the charger and be ready to go. So I, I, I and it's lightweight. It's not anything heavy. I think I got it from Target. Um, and you can't charge your phone up 
like for two or three days it's only going to give you like one good charge but if you're in school that's all you need so definitely a charger um like i said these are the extra i bought two packs of these these are the extra cord binders that we have um and this bag so these two came in a set from amazon and this we put her gym uniform in there so in her gym uniform is it the t-shirt and the shorts she puts an extra pair of socks in there and her deodorant um and whatever else but her uni her gym uniform fits in this and she only goes to gym every other day so she only has to take this every whatever day she has gym a day or b day and she brings it home i'll take the stuff out wash it put it back in here so she'll have a clean fresh uniform the next time she goes to gym but i think having a separate bag that holds instead of digging in your backpack like oh where's my gym shorts where are my socks is my deodorant in here like you don't have to do that because it's all you pull this out all of your gym needs are in here so that and last thing her dad picked these up and these are just little tabs that we can use to make this system as easy as possible so we'll probably label her classes once her class schedule has been finalized um, in here so she can turn straight to physics or straight to whatever class she's going to now outside of her backpack Sydney is a an outside of the backpack decorating person she wants to outside of her backpack to have something hanging off of it so this is her touch land from last semester so that is a total of three hand sanitizers i'm not playing with this hand sanitizer so she has a touch land that clips onto her backpack um when this one runs out we will swap it out of course um this is her moon and like star thing she's had these two things forever i don't even know the significance behind them but they were on her backpack last year and this year we were in the store and she found this pokemon um little fuzzy fur baby so she wanted this so we picked this up so these two things will be hanging on her backpack on the outside along with her touch hand sanitizer the only other thing that i know that we will probably put in there is a lip gloss she has a um summer friday birthday cake i think she's been using so we'll put that in her backpack and i think that's it the biggest thing that i wanted to share with you guys that i thought was the most helpful were these core ties and the charger and i just feel like with this type of stuff when every kid in the classroom has the same charger when every kid in the classroom has the same cord that you almost have to do something that makes your kids stuff stand out hey guys welcome to the vlog it is saturday night i probably should have started vlogging before now but when i got my hair done sydney got here done it's still kind of humid i got my ends clipped but from what I can tell, my hair is growing pretty good. So, yeah, let me get. See ya. I think I'm doing good. So, I am going to um, rock it. I got a bobby pin in it because I just do not like my hair in my face. So, yeah. Um, I got Sydney's new school backpack which i will do um a review on and what else i think that's it um if we do anything i will let y'all know but for now i am going to unplug my work computer i wasn't on it but i tried not to have it charging all night um so yeah sit down and watch a little tv and i'll talk to y'all in a minute what's up y'all um I've been trying to film this video for what feels like a lifetime. But anyway, it is Saturday night. School starts Monday and I got Sydney's new backpack in a couple days ago. And 
I wanted to share it with you. Everything um, about the backpack will be on the screen. Um, but I just kind of wanted to give you a little overview. This is a new backpack from Dagny Dover. And it is really, really um, strong and durable. Um, her last backpack died a slow horrible death and I just did not want to buy another backpack that wasn't fully fully sturdy and hopefully I don't have to buy her any more backpacks hopefully this backpack will last her for the remainder of her um, high school time um, so yeah the backpack has a couple of cool features that I want to tell you about. Um, I don't know the name of it. Uh, uh, let, me, let me look it up and see if I can find it. I think I deleted all of the Monday tracking. It is the Brooklyn Flap Top Backpack in Warm Dusk. So here you go. One of the cool features about it is this pocket right here. So when she's on the school bus or whatever, it's just perfect for her to slide her phone. Slide her phone right in like that. It does fit with the pop socket. Um, it just depends on how you put it in there. And it's just boom right there they do have a new cell phone policy here so um, I'm not sure how that's gonna gonna work where they're gonna have their, have them put their phones but yeah um, in here also guys are her wired heads to come out so in her backpack there are flap a fl is a flap along with a metal metal clasp and this thing is really really nice it also has a drawstring top opening and it is massive these are her bag charms and um the pockets for the water bottle are really really nice for her water bottle there we go so there are pockets like a zipper right here that you can put all kind of stuff in the front has two zipper pockets one here and then the big one here um, and they also have the pockets in the back here so all in all it seems to be a good one but yeah this backpack um, is really meant for travel but I really just wanted something that was super durable it has on the bottom it's made out of like a special material it has these carabiner hooks all over it um, on this side it's a carabiner hook and all across the front so if she needed to put um, anything extra in there she could there is a d-ring which we have attached her Apple air tag to um, it has a space inside here I don't know if you'll be able to see it for her um, computer if she wants to put it there and it also has a spot in the back for her um, school issued um, computer so that is the Dagny Dover Brooklyn backpack it has a place for her name I went ahead and purchased 
a luggage tag to match so we will feel this out and I will clip it on the inside of her backpack with the what is this thing with the Apple ear tag so we know what her backpack is um, but yeah this backpack was what I really wanted to tell you guys about she um, likes it so far it does have a bit of weight on it but um, I think she'll be fine Sunday people we are headed to Georgetown to go to Abercrombie for Sydney and that sweet greens um, yeah so we'll take you with us now that I 